everyone, my name is Wanda from Sam Josiah, and today we're going to be making loops. We're going to start with a one, well, one shape start loop, like a right angle triangle. Yes, that's a perfect example. So we're going to leave enough for our ties, and then we're going to make a knot, like what I just finished doing now. And. And now we're going to use our black thread and we're going to take it out and we're going to make a backward fold not over the rest of the string. So we just finished making the backward part and now we're going to make the forward part. You can take this down or pin it. I personally prefer to hold it. So we're done with one. Now we're going to take the next, next string according to our pattern which is our light pink string and we're going to make forward knots with it. I'm going to make forward knots this is one half and complete I'm going to take the next string which is a slightly well I think it's full sure pink which we full sure pink yes so I'm going to make forward knots too now let me say something if you're going to make a forward knot but your string is on the right make a backward forward knot instead and I'll show you an example in a little bit. So we're going to take the next string, which is pink, and we're going to make another forward knot. And now we're going to take our black string, which is on the right. So we cannot make a forward knot if the string is on the right. It will look puffed out. So now we're going to take it from the left and we're going to make a backward forward knot. Now, fair warning, this is a Zolino, I'm using a Zolino pattern here, but you can use it for a normal, like any other bracelet pattern, not just this one. So, we're, from the right again, we're making a backward forward knot with our lilac color, lilac colored string. And with the other purple string over the darker purple, we're going to make another backward forward knot. And once we finish that, we are done. And now we're moving on to the next part. I have already connected it to my clipboard and we're going to make we're going to use the black string and we're going to make a backward knot over the light pink or baby pink string. There. Now we're going to use that black string. Push the baby pink string to one side, take the full sharp pink and make a forward knot over the black string. That's one. Okay, make another forward knot over the baby pink string. Now you can stop watching here, but I'm just going to show you how to put it into your pattern so it's much easier. Take the black string and make one forward knot over the pink string so I one backward knot over the pink string and then take the other black string and make a forward knot with it I did a backward knot because I wanted it to flow smoothly but, but according to the pattern you're supposed to make a forward knot and make another forward knot over the lilac colored string which is looking blue from here. I don't know why it's looking blue, but it's lilac colored. And we're going to take our. We're going to take. <laughs> we're going to take our dark pink string, and we're going to make two forward knots. One over the baby pink string, like I'm doing here, and we're going to make another one over the fuchsia pink string. And we're going to take our black string and we're going to make three forward knots over all three pink strings.
Now that we're done with our forward knots, we're going to take the lilac color string and we're going to make three forward knots over the pink strings. That's one. Two. And three. Now we're going to take our black string, the one on the edge, and we're going to make a backward knot over the lilac colored string. Over our lilac string. There. And we're going to go back to our other black string over here. And we're going to take our purple string. We're going to take our purple string now. We're going to make a forward knot over the black string. And we're going to make a backward knot with our black string over our dark purple string. Now that we've done that, we're almost done. So we're going to, going to take the purple string and make three forward knots over the pink string three forward knots over our pink string and now we're going to take our okay we're going to make another forward knot sorry another forward knot till we reach the end that's a total of five forward knots. My mistake, sorry. Five forward knots. Then we're going to take our other purple string and we're going to make three forward knots. Only three forward knots over our pink string with this one. One. Two. and three yes so now that we are done we're going to take our black string and we're going to make a backward knot over the purple string we just finished with now now i'm not going step by step by the pattern i'm taking it in segments and doing it in parts so i just group them together to get it to be easier for myself to make and now we're going to make black forward knots with the over the lilac string and forward knots over the last string, the other purple string too, or the light purple string too. Now we're going to make three. We're just going to make forward knots to reach the end, I think. Yes, we're going to make four knots until we reach the end. Of this row and after this we should be done now again this is a pattern for a zonino so this is much better it depends on what you want to make if you think starting a chevron or is but this pattern will be much better if you're making a diagonal bracelet or a candy stripe bracelet and for you to use it with a chevron for a chevron you should look for something like a teardrop or I don't know the name, but I always call it Alex Innovations too. So you should look for one of those two, or you should just try. Well, just try and figure it out. So we're done now, and I'm going to remove the tie or the knot I made earlier at the beginning of the video. And this is what it looks like. It's going from one side. I should have made it going towards the other side, but I think this is much better here. Here's what it looks like, it's one sided, and now we're going to start with our Kume Himo, which is my favorite part. So, we are going to we're going to separate our green string, make a backward knot or first half of a backward knot, then pull out our peach colored string, and then make a forward part. 
the forward part now this is a komihimo but it's a twin one because i'm making a komihimo with two colors instead so my loops gonna have two colors instead of one so leave the green string that you just made it backward forward knots with on one side yes then take our other string and make another backward forward knot and then put it down the other one should go on top of the pink colored string and make another backward forward knot on top of it put the pink string on top of the green one then make another backward forward knot another backward and another forward now and then you can continue to do this until when you have your desired length Now we're done this is what our loop looks like so we're going to separate our green colored loop on the left and we're going to take our peach colored loop on the right and this is what it looks like so now we're going to make a box or square knot now this is going to be very hard to explain so please watch what i'm doing very clearly I hope you got that if not then maybe you should watch um a just like just google how to make a square knot that would be much better because i don't know how to explain this particular part and then um, put the peach side over the string on the other side like a forward knot but then take the green string, pass it under, and pull it through the four or the other or the peach side and pull. Pull the other side too. And there we have it. We just finished making our Kumihimo loop. Or oh, a loop for our Kumihimo bracelet. And our loop also has two colors. So two in one. This is what it looks like on one side and the other side too looks very pretty. So now we're going to attach it to our disc. And I'm going to be using the back of the disc this time because I feel like it's going to be less complicated this in this part. This is what it looks like. So I'm going to make a few rounds and meet you, which I have done now. And this is what it looks like in the end. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and bye.